What's going on everybody? It's your boy D Thomas from NC. Bring you another video and today I will be hooking up the Bohemian 8 terabyte hard drive to my PS4 Pro. Now I picked this up off of Amazon for $199.99. The link for this will be in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead, unbox this and get connected. All right guys, here it is. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got inside the box. Got my nice little knife right here. Cut that open. Just like that. And let's see what we got inside the box. Throw that off to the side. And here is the Bohemian, as I call it. All right here, y'all. Nice little finish. All right, and let's see. And that's how we connect it right back there. So that's the USB 3.0 plug and that's the power plug, power slot right there. And you got this box right here, which has the, the cable and the adapter. So, yep. So let's go ahead. Ugh. Take that out of the plastic like so. Whoop. All right. So you're just gonna connect this piece right here. Let's go ahead and take the tab off of this. Cause you're gonna have to plug this up. And right there. So those are your two pieces. Plug this up to the power supply and you put this into your uh, PS4. All right, once you're connected to your PS4, you're gonna get this message right here. And that is going to be followed by another message right here, which is stating that your USB storage device's file system is unsupported. No need to trip, you didn't do anything wrong. Let's just head over to settings scroll down until you see devices select that and now we're just going to scroll down until we get to usb storage devices and there it is let's go ahead and select your external hard drive and what we need to do is format this as extended storage so select that now save data screenshots and video clips will be saved only in system storage hit next when you format this device, all data on it will be deleted. Okay, let's go ahead and format this device. Now, when you select to format it, it's gonna ask you, are you sure? Yes. Yes, we are definitely sure because we need all the space that we can get right now. Boom, it's done already. This device has been formatted as extended storage. To stop using extended storage, press and hold the PS button to display. I'll show you guys how to do that in a minute. For right now, let's go ahead and back out of this and you see that we are in the green 7.35 terabytes. So we're just gonna back out of that and we're gonna scroll up to storage. And as you can see, it is calculating my space. Oh man, I got that, <laughs> almost had that two terabyte fill. Actually, I did have it filled up, but let's go ahead and select that because what we're gonna do now is move an application from the system storage over to the expanded storage. So you just press options and this right here will come up and let's go with the uh, guns up. It's a small game, only three gigs. Select that, we're gonna move that to the extended storage, okay and it's moving right now. And as you can see, it says it's gonna take 21 seconds. If you like me, my catalog for my PlayStation is really, really big and I definitely needed the space. If you saw earlier, I had my two terabytes filled up. I had to delete games and make space for Mass Effect and Neo Automata. So <laughs> I definitely needed the biggest thing that I could find and now we are done just like that so let's back out of here and as you can see on my external hard drive there it is two gigabytes guns up has moved over and that's pretty much it 
it's not hard at all very painless now if you want to switch between the two and where you want your applications to be installed at just press options application install location comes up and you just switch to system storage and boom there it is right there you want to switch it back it's just the same thing press options it comes up go to extended storage and there it is it's very very simple guys it's not hard at all very painless and if you like me if you need the space for your ps4 then this definitely comes into play so let's go ahead and load up guns up right now to show you guys how it plays while it's on the external hard drive and if you've ever played guns up you should already know that it takes a long time for this game to load up i don't know why it takes as long as it does i mean it's only three gigabytes so it's not a very big game at all but it takes like two three maybe four minutes to load up that's pretty crazy and let's go ahead and hop into it let me collect my daily rations real quick scroll down there we go and guys it works this is one of the best updates that playstation could have given us because this is something that i know the xbox has had for a very very long time now if they could just allow some users to change their gamer tags we'll be in business but yeah this is definitely a great update i'm glad eight terabytes of external storage hey you can't ask for no more than that so there you have it guys eight terabytes connected to the ps4 pro no more deleting a game to make space for another game we should be good to go until the ps5 comes out anyways i'd like to thank you guys for watching this video if you're new to my channel please subscribe if you enjoyed this video if it helped you out a little bit show some love give this a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one peace